This is the uh, new wooden snow plow. You can see it's a little bit bigger than the old one. Construction is basically the same. Old one had uh, ability to change the angle. Just it's bolted on. Wider one. You see, uh, it's just a two by four with uh, rubber. That's a horse mat, three quarter inch rubber. Bolted on and glued. Just a quarter inch plywood, keep it light. And you can see it hooks on under there. And attaches to the trailer hitch. I'll show you how that works in a second. It's important to have lots of weight and uh, good chains. The prime knees are really nice. I like them a lot. Uh, the other thing is uh, I just use this rope. It's, uh, it's very light to pull up and down. You can see it on a video with the other plow. back on and I can switch it to my smaller plow if the snow is deep. What I like about this arrangement is it's so easy to take off. Just uh, as simple as taking the trailer hitch off. And that's the, uh, the setup. Put it on. It's not any more difficult. Feed this in. Just balance it on there. And I'll show you. You have to hook it up there. That's the on the other side. I'll show you how that happens. Hey guys. So, object is without pushing it back too far. Just get it through there like that. Trailer hitch, you know that? We're ready to go. You hook up a uh, plow, well, it's uh, pretty simple. Over here, line it up. I should put a little grease on it. Pop that. Try this guy on. And uh, there you have it. We're ready to plow. This new plow is 65 inches wide. This one is more like 42, I think. So obviously, uh, it's a small tractor. You're not going to be able to plow everything with a wide blade, but this is wonderful for uh, doing a cleanup job after a deep snowstorm or after snow blowing, or taking care of a light one. And this plow, you know, the snow is a little bit heavy. Still, if the snow is over a foot or so, and if it's heavy, I'm going to have to use the snowblower, um, even with all that weight and the chains.